Dr. Pace, you are absolutely correct about the importance our school board places on high quality teaching and learning for every child, every chance, every day. I'm Tim Weishire here at Poinciana High School. When it comes to academic success, Dr. Pace shared some academic highlights already with you, but let me add a few more. Over the last three years, our social studies performance has increased by 6%. English language arts learning gains for students in the lowest 25% has improved by 4%. Middle school acceleration, students taking high school courses, has improved by 21%. The number of students completing their AA degrees while in high school rose dramatically from 10 students in 2016 to 77 students in 2018, doubling from 2017. And the number of top 100 college or university acceptances for the class of 2019 reached an all-time high of 450. Let's be real. As we continue to strive for academic excellence, we realize that we have room for improvement in several areas. While the state average for science achievement is 55%, our district is at 54%. We are so close. While the state average for math achievement is 60%, our district is at 50%. While the state average for college and career acceleration is 62%, our district is at 49%. And we continue to work to close the achievement gap for all students, including our students of color, those from low-income families, English language learners, and students with disabilities. We know that when all kids get access to great appropriate assignments, strong instruction, deep engagement, and high expectations, the achievement gap shrinks. So the question becomes, how do we ensure that all students are actively engaging with guaranteed and viable curriculum in every classroom, every day? Across the district, we are creating new and improved curriculum unit plans, which serve as guides for all teachers outlining the sequence and pace of skills and knowledge acquisition of all standards to be taught. We are also not relying on the latest FAD curriculum programs, but rather working with our teachers on high yield strategies that make up great teaching. Read, write, talk, and solve have become a way of work in classrooms around the district. These activities that we are engaging students in to think critically and to take them to higher levels of learning. Also, we are furthering academic success this school year by implementing new and improved math curriculum, providing professional development for our teachers on effective writing strategies, ensuring all teachers are using district adopted curriculum resources and best practices, and conducting instructional observations in order to provide a culture of communication and coaching for our educators. This allows us to model high expectations and provide feedback for effective instruction. Okay, so here's the bottom line. The most important work we do as a school board is to make decisions and allocate resources that support what happens directly in the classrooms. It is what makes the difference between students becoming doctors or leaving that dream unfulfilled. We choose to ensure students are doing work on or above their grade level. We choose to support our teachers so that all students have access to high quality academic resources. It means that our students have had the chance to practice a core set of grade level appropriate competencies for processing information, critical thinking about text, and solving problems using evidence. After all, those are essential skills that can make the difference between graduating ready for college or the workplace or not. As future employers of our students, I know these skills are important to you as well. This morning, as we talk about how much we believe in our students, we thought it was important for you to see school through their eyes. To do this, five students were asked to use an iPhone to highlight something or someone in the school district that is driving them towards success. Up first, please meet Ayla from Celebration K-8.
Hi, I'm Ayla, a seventh grader here at Celebration K3, and this is my Project Lead the Way class. Project Lead the Way is a project-based learning program where we create our own problems and find our own solutions. This is my team, and let's come take a look. When I started this course, I was kind of confused because I had done very few things related to STEM, and especially robotics. But after a while, I started getting the hang of things, and now I'm much more sure of myself. I know that if I don't get things right at first, it's okay. This class is all about trial and error, and I've learned how to grow from my mistakes, and I've definitely had a few. Beginning in Project Lead the Way has taught me a lot about teamwork and independence. My teacher, Mr. Western, teaches us to be problem solvers and to find ways not only to learn, but to be able to fix our own mistakes. We are always tasked with a problem we must solve. I really like that because it lets me explore individually and understand things I otherwise may not have learned. This is the project me and my team are currently working on. Our assignment is to build, design, and code our very own drag racer and make it go as fast as we can. And I'm pretty sure ours is going to win the race because ours is definitely the best. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. All right. 